hello everyone my name is chumth kumar and welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn about python operator in airflow we have already installed the airflow and we have run our first tag you can watch my previous video from my apache airflow playlist so in this video i will tell you what is the python operator so let's come to my vs code so here I am using this python operator. So what is the use of python operator we are going to learn here. So what is the python operator is? It is an operator that allow you to execute any type of python code as part of task in a tag. Let's suppose that you have to run one python code that is pulling data from API and uh, you have to schedule it using as a task in a tag. So what you can do is you can create, you can use the python code in form a function and you can call that function inside this python callable parameter this is very simple and but very useful so let's suppose that for make it easy i have defined one function called sum this is very easy we are just uh, summing two number a and b and printing the result here sum of a plus b is a plus b okay that's easy and I have defined here python operator that, that is having only two parameter right now task id and python callable so this python callable is very much important and what were the python callable what were the function you need to call that you have to define here okay and uh, you can just write this uh, python whatever the task id is here you can write it here or you can write this some task as well this is the some task okay that's all so we will move to our ui you can see this is the demo python here so this is a demo python i have created i have given the dag id name dag id as demo python that's what it is showing here and you can you know like it is it will start from 28 april and uh, it will schedule at daily at 12 pm okay so let me run this one So this is already ran three times but if you want to run, run it again so you can just click here and trigger it will automatically run at this time night 12 o'clock so this is you can see this uh, status of this is keep changing so right now if you open this is on status queued and uh, again it is got succeed succeeds so there are many form there are many stages of your tag all is there all is defined here like deferred fail queue remove starting running schedule are done there are many things is there so to, up to retrying upstream failed so you will get this type of orange orange kind of color maybe this is this task is called once one task will be complete but this task previous to this, this task is failed and it is not able to run this one so that's what it will say that upstream itself is failed but sometime your task will keep trying keep retrying retrying you have to define the retry two times so it will be in retry so and this is success you, you know is keep is also there so one by one as we move forward in our learning journey you will learn all of the types of stages stages okay so now as this function is completed we will open this one and will i will show you the log open this one see the log and you, you will you can find that sum of a plus b is 11 this is success okay so that's all for this video but uh, for closing i just want to say two things here if you come to your dag and you can observe here there, there's asking here tag dax by tag means you can filter the dag let's suppose that you are working in the company and there are many dax 100 200 dax is there and you want to filter dag based on tag but we have not defined tag here and also owner name is by default airflow so we we want to change this these two things why this filter by tag is uh, important let's suppose that your manager want to because you are created you are created the DAG, you know what is the DAG name and all. But uh, 
your manager or some other people doesn't who doesn't have that code access and they would they just want so they just want to find out from their department let's suppose that there are two department hr and finance so if you have given your tag as hr so directly they will search whether tag hr and uh, out of 10 they will find out based on the tag name what is the what 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 is the tag okay means this will the filter condition so this is very important to put tag if you are writing the tag okay so how you can define the, the tag and how you can change this owner that we are going to learn now so this is very simple here in the tag parameter you have to to pass the tag as well so this is i have written already you can write here this and all things is already there in document so save it and once you refresh just wait for one minute to you can see the python test the tag okay now i want to change this owner name so to change the owner name you have to define the default argument inside tag parameter okay so i will just write here default argument and uh, owner name here this is very simple if you want to make it more readable just define this value as a dictionary outside outside and you can call this that variable here so that's fine okay so you can just save it and come here uh, it will ref refresh for some time or if you want you can just refresh it see on a name got changed so what we have learned in this video we have learned about python operator and we have learned how to put the tag and how to set the owner so that's all for this video if you are enjoying enjoying this uh, airflow series so bear with me and uh, keep watching this series i will come with each and every topic and uh, we will design one production grade applications that will cover all the scenarios to get data from s3 from api put into s3 from s3 to redshift and from redshift to visualization tool power bi so all these things we are going to learn here so thank you very much thank you very much for watching